I've been playing Rod Pete in the same cash game to all over Las Vegas. We were played a lot of 10 20 holding together. That was our main game. So uh, he and I were casual friends at least. Uh, you know, we socialized a few times. You know, and we had a lot of mutual friends and, you know, played in the same circle. Some of the other big names in poker, of course, uh, they didn't know either one of us. So I was very pleased when it got down to me and Rod. And uh, Rod actually is a player that broke Royal Brunson three-handed. Of course, they made Doyle the betting favorite before before the final table started. Rod Peter actually had the chip lead going into the last table. Doyle was second in chips, and they made him the betting favorite. And I was third, and I was well behind both Rod and Doyle. Made me in a nine-handed final table, eight to one odds to win. You said you were happy when it got down to you and, and Rod. Was that because you knew his game from all the cash games and you felt you had an edge? Yeah, for, for several reasons. I wouldn't have really cared who I played. A lot of you say, well, I don't want to play Doyle Brunson, you know, they figured he, there might be an intimidation factor, but that wasn't the case. I have to admit I was rooting for Rod because I knew Rod and I was friends with him. And it was going to be kind of exciting no matter who I faced, but it gave me a little extra pleasure that I got to play against Rod and somebody I really knew and who I liked and respected. How long did you play? Went over seven hours. Wow. It's still the record for the longest heads up play in World Series history. Back then the tournament was a four day tournament, well what well into the fifth day.